Hello, my crafty loving friends. Welcome to Her Purpose My Way. I'm Shelly. Today, we've got a trash to treasure for you. Boy, oh boy, is this thing a mess. I rescued this from the trash, and I'm hoping I can do something with it. It's got some issues. It's cracked. It's missing a top. It's uh, loose and falling apart. The handle up here is ready to fall off on both sides. So right there, I'm showing you, we're going to cut that off and do something different. So I'm just going to place it on the table saw. I marked a spot where I wanted to cut it. It's going to be right on the edge because I'm going to put a regular top on it. And I just want to have it nice and flat when I put it on there. And I'm going to do that on both sides. Now I'm going to start the process of cutting some pieces to go in these slats to cover up the apples on the side. I'm going to need to make four of these pieces, so I'm just putting this board up there and measuring how tall I want it to be. And I'm going to cut it down on the table saw again, and now I'm going to slide it in where it needs to go. It's nice and tight. Now I need to measure the uh, how wide I want it to be. So just tuck it in there and get it where I want it and then I just make a mark with my pen. I cut that down and now I'm going to slide that in and make sure that it fits right and I'm going to go ahead and make three more exactly the same. So the sides I need to cover up, the, the last pieces were for the inside, now I need to cover up the outside. So I'm going to go ahead and glue down some strips of wood that I cut up. I just took some 1 by 12 inches of pine and ran them down the table saw and made some, some little strips here. And we're going to get those glued on and cover up those apples. Once I got those all set down on the glue, I'm going to take a board and put it across it along with some clamps and I'm going to clamp it down so that I can start nailing and they get these guys to stay where they need to stay. Now that the strips are all glued and nailed on the outside, I flipped it over and started on putting the pieces on the inside to cover up my apples. I'm going to glue that, glue that down and then nail those as well. As I was nailing those sides in, I didn't realize my nails were going through to the other side, so I'm just going to take my grinder and grind off those little nails. I have about six of them on each side, so I'm just going to go ahead and grind those off, and you'll never know that they were sticking out that far. video is part of the What Would You Make collaboration hosted by uh, Zena at OK at Home DIY and Connie at Connie's Creative Creations. And guest host is me, Shelly from Repurpose My Way. So I'm glad that you could join me in this collaboration. And I will have a link to the playlist below of several awesome 
creators that will be joining us in these in this what would you make collab when I cut my strips for the sides they weren't quite long enough to go all the way down to the bottom and I didn't want to trim my uh, my stand to make it any shorter so I decided to take some more uh, strips of wood and just put those on the end and I'm just going to put them horizontally on the bottom and then the top piece will be a trim piece that will go underneath the lid. I'm realizing as I go to use this table saw that it's getting quite the workout on this project. I have a lot to cut out on this. But I really am determined to make this look good and I really want to bring this back from a trash to a treasure. I add a little bit of wood glue to the spot where I want to add on to the bottom and I'm just going to put this piece down on there and clamp it on until it dries. I have a couple of end pieces that I want to put on to kind of finish off the front. These came from the dump. I got two, I think they were five feet long maybe, pieces of trim and so I wanted to use them also to uh, finish this off. So I just measured this out and made a mark of how tall I wanted it and I'll make two exactly the same. I'm going to go ahead and glue these down as well and then nail those in so that they'll stay and that'll make the front look really nice. Now I'm going to measure out my strips of wood. I don't have any wood wide enough that will go across the the front to the back so I need to cut down some, oh, I think they're three inch strips that I'm going to make and just kind of uh, get this top to be spliced together, kind of. So I'm going to cut a bunch of these down with the table saw again, and then I will show you how I put it together. It's pretty simple. Once I got it cut down to the size that I wanted for my top, I took a couple of pieces of strips of wood and put those on the back and put a few holes in them so that it wouldn't crack because they're so thin. And then I'm just going to take some wood screws and screw each individual plank that I'm going to use for the top down. I have to be mindful of my edges so that they don't hit on the outside of my stand uh, so they're a little bit shorter and go around the inside of my top so that they'll fit on the inside of the stand. Now I'm going to use some heavy grit sandpaper and I'm going to sand down my top and my edges and sides on this top and uh, make it all nice and smooth. Once I get it done with the heavy grit I'm going to go back in with a light grit sandpaper and sand it down and make it smoother and give it a more polished edge and look. I'm going to go ahead and take some of these trim pieces that I have left and add them to the front shelving part and at the very top so it'll give it a finished look on there as well. I thought it might look okay without it but it really looks very unfinished. So I'm just going to add some glue to this and nail these in as well. Now that I've got my frame done, I'm going to go ahead and paint it. So surprise, surprise, it's flat black Rust-Oleum spray paint. That's what I'm going to use on this. This stand really is a transformation, I feel like. It went from an apple, fallen apple, rotten apple stand to a beautiful primitive stand that is just, I just love it. So I'm so excited to redo this. I'm going to go upstairs and where it's warm and I'm going to stain with some antique wax and water the top. Now that it's all sanded down, it's so nice and smooth and stains up really nicely. So I just use the antique wax and then I dip my brush in the water and water it down a little bit and that just gives it a nice uh, light brown look. 
The baskets needed a lot of cleaning up. They were really dusty and gross. So I used a Clorox wipe on, on them and wiped them all down and cleaned them up really nicely. And then I went ahead and took that same stain, watered down a little bit more with the antique wax, and went across the just the outside of the baskets. I just wanted to make them look a little bit of a richer look. They were very dry looking before. And as you can see the difference here, I think it looks much nicer. Now that my stand is dry, I'm going to go ahead and give it a distressed look with my sander. Just going over it around the edges and then up and down the sides to uh, make it look aged and like it's been used and around for a while. It's time to get my top put on and get that nailed down and see what it's going to look like all together. And then I'm going to throw the baskets in it so you can see what that looks like as well. I did spray it down with some flat clear sealer from Rust-Oleum to make it easier to clean. Wow, what a transformation. It doesn't even look like the same stand that it was in the beginning. I'm just so amazed with a little bit of scrap wood and some elbow grease I can make something so cool. Don't forget to go down in the description and check out the playlist for the What Would You Make collaboration. There's going to be so many great creators down there. So thank you for watching guys. Please don't forget, like, share, and subscribe and have a great day.